Today we're asking, how would you deal in a social situation when your decisions are put to the test? So our next experiment asks the question, can you survive pressure from your friend when you're on a diet and they're not? It's a scenario I asked Joey Salas to create, and here's what he uncovers. We enlisted Greg Mia to go undercover to push tempting but unhealthy foods onto her unsuspecting friend Gail, who just came from the doctor who put her on a diet. I weigh more now than when I was pregnant. There's no way. I'm gonna have a salad. Mm-mm, it's no. Nope. We're gonna have a nice, juicy cheeseburger. Yes, we are. No, no, no. Because, look, I really, you know, that really scared me. Let her tell the story about the doctor. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting so much. Mm -hmm. I said, I, I started yesterday. Yesterday I was good. So if I'm good yesterday, if I'm good today, and I'm good mm -hmm. tomorrow, then I'll get into that habit. You know we don't have it. Since we're having all I know. lunch today, can today be the day that you're going to splurge? Oh. So can I have a spinach salad with grilled chicken breast? Can I have a basket of chicken finger tenders? Sure. As the appetizer, burger with fries. You want any cheese on that? Cheddar. Cheddar? Yeah. Be like, you're gonna help me finish these. You're gonna help me eat the fries. Oh no, she had the burger. No, that's yours. That's two plates there. But I thought this was the appetizer. I feel like we can't let this food go to waste. No, we can't let this good food go to waste. So look, this probably is the healthier of the two plates. Why? We, um, I think it's chicken fingers, onion rings. So, Grease. you know, why don't you, still, why don't Oil. you, come on, just one fry. You terrible. Are you going to sit there and not even yes. have one? Okay. You'll make me feel yes. better if you eat some. You want to make me feel yeah. a little better, you'll eat a little bit. You'll eat some. All right, I'm coming up. You my friend of what? You try to stand Come on, us. watch this. Hello. My name's Joe, and we're uh, filming a social experiment oh. for Dr. Oz. A social experiment? And your, uh, your friend was in on it. Whoa. <laughs> and she was trying to get you to eat unhealthy. <laughs> don't hurt me, don't hurt me. How were you able to resist this? I would have pigged out. Yeah, but if you saw the doctor who said I'm overweight, uh, you would not have done it. You would not have done it. I can't. So that's that's cool. the only time. You know, we're proud of you that, you that you didn't give in. Thank you. Greg, Mia, and Gail are joining us. Gail, your doctors must be so proud of you. Yes, they are. <laughs> Wait till yeah. they see this footage. I know. <laughs> so what were you thinking when Greg, Mia, you know, the mean person that she is, was pressuring you to eat food? Well, I was wondering, what was she doing? This is my friend. I'm like, I told you that uh, I started my diet. I can't. I'm, I'm a biscuit away from... 200 pounds, and I can't do this. I saw my numbers, and it frightened me. So I said, no, I'm going to get her to help me stay on my diet. So I could not do that. And Greg, Greg me, was there ever a moment where you thought, maybe I'll eat healthy. It doesn't look so bad, what's going on over there with Gail. Well, actually, she was so adamant about not joining in the decadence with me, you know, that after a while, I started feeling bad, you know, about what was on the plate to, at a point when I actually was about to put a french fry in my mouth, and I actually was saying, okay, you know, like it's just, I started to feel guilty about what I was gonna ingest. Well, I love Gail's expressions the whole time. All right, she was able to stick to her guns, but take a look at what happened to Peggy when her friend Lisa pressured her to eat. We are celebrating today. Let's get chicken fingers, french fries. I ordered chicken quesadillas, pancakes. Everything unhealthy. Peggy starts off healthy by ordering a water. A water with lemon salt. Just water with lemon salt. But when milkshakes come. This is really her. <laughs> Looks like she's going for the milkshake. Cheers. She did it. She gives right in. I'm going to have the Caesar salad. Peggy orders a salad for lunch. But Lisa's quesadilla proves to be too tempting. Well, I'll have some of that. Why don't you have some sour cream, too? <laughs> you have everything you need? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I want you to crumble the bacon on there. It's really good. Come on, take the bacon. It's better with bacon. <laughs> take the bacon. What is better than food? She ate it. Great. All right, I'm coming in. <laughs> what happened to your diet? What is this? <laughs> What happened oh to your God. diet? <laughs> your friend's in on it. We're doing a social experiment for the Dr. Oz show. I'm sorry, guys. Oh my God. All right, please forgive me. You are in so much in trouble. And hopefully. Best friends, Peggy, Lisa, and Jack, you're all here. They cracked you. You gave into the social pressure. Oh my goodness. Well, it's interesting because thinking about it, I did it for a different reason. That is not enticing to me at all. And in my life, I really 90% of the time eat very healthy. I'm a yoga instructor, I mean, and I preach it. But I felt, I felt like I was going to be rude 
Mm. And she would not stop. And I just wanted her to shut up. <laughs> I mean, if you saw the whole clip, she was throwing bacon in the salad and she was incessant. Wait, we were and celebrating your retirement from the police force. She's still at it. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to justify it. Well, the irony of it all was that's so unlike her. Mm. And so I was just like, what is wrong with Lisa? So let me take a sip. You see, I'm taking a sip of the milkshake. Okay, now let's get back. I really wanted to eat my salad. And um, it's interesting because I think many people uh, experience that on maybe a more subtle level. But how many times? Oh, have a, have a drink, just have something, just have a nibble, you know, celebrate. And she was like, you're celebrating your retirement. And I said, but I want to live. Yeah, you know, I want to live after my retirement. <laughs> but... Seriously, social press is a big reason why it's so hard to lose weight. And there have been studies done on this. Pay attention, everybody. It turns out that if you eat in large groups, I'm talking about six or more people, not huge amounts either, six or more people eating together, they'll eat 75% larger portions than when they eat alone. So wow. social pressure does a lot to undermine us. We gotta reverse that trend. Today's conversation, how would you deal in an emergency? Now you know those unexpected situations where you find yourself thinking on your feet? How many of you have an emergency kit at home? About half of you, that's actually the average for the country. You know, I actually had an emergency in our house. I was giving my wife a birthday party recently. And I decided because it was sort of hot, I was going to take her inside, put the air conditioning on, it all went out. So I had darkness, no cooling, and an unhappy wife, a true emergency. <laughs> and I didn't have the right things in my home. So I want to walk you through new recommendations of what to have. Andrea, do nice you have an emergency kit? Yes, I do. You do? You have all the things you need in there? To Maybe. an extent, I'm sure I can add some stuff to it. Well, let's go audit it. Let's see how well you're doing. The CDC. They just released this one sheet to make sure you're prepared in an emergency situation. And they come in many forms. Even you know, when husbands are preparing meals for their wives, blow the circuits, it can happen. But sometimes they're national disasters. So look at this list up there. It's very colorful, isn't it? How many of these things right now do you have in your home? And they range from, there's some waters and some foods and you know, different apps. I would say 80%. 80%. Mm -hmm. Are you surprised by anything on the list? A whistle. A whistle? But well, you could probably whistle. Can you whistle, with, you whistle for me? That's not very loud. You'll be a silent with the... I can't do it like this. <laughs> right. So let me show you what I have in my house. These are things that originally surprised me, but I think they're important for you. First, I have a copy of my crucial personal documents. License, insurance cards, things you may not think you realize, but this is one of the biggest problems when you have big time disasters. I also have a three-day supply of food and water, not just for the kids and me and Lisa, but also for the pets. Three-day supply, can't forget the pets. And I got a pre-charged phone charger. Lots of people have phone chargers, they don't pre-charge them, so they're not very much use to you. And 20% of, of us use cell phones now, it would probably be more going forward for emergency care. We added that to ours. You did? We did. Oh, I'm proud of you. <laughs> All right, so I don't want you to, to wait, you know, be prepared, head to my Facebook page or my website right now, print out this very easy to use sheet. It's only one page long. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss out on new videos to live the good life.